Or will they have become the faces of senseless violence? Known around the world as the boys whose brutal murders are sparking international conflict. Tonight, millions, many right here in Tucson, are mourning the deaths of these three Israeli teens. Now, in your signs, Maggie Vespa is live in the newsroom with more on how this story is truly hitting home. Maggie. That's right, guys. Stella, obviously, Tucson is an ocean away from Israel's West Bank, where E.L. Yifrak, Gilad Shahar, and Naftali Frankel, ages 16 through 19, were kidnapped, killed, and dumped. But members of Tucson's Jewish Community Center say those boys might as well have been family. <laughs> More than a hundred here on 24 hours notice. What makes the Jewish people unique is that no matter how far apart they are from each other, distance wise, we still feel like we're all family and very strongly connected. All saying goodbye to three boys they never met. It's senseless, brutal um, taking of a young life. I didn't want to see this through alone. Throughout the hour-long service, pictures of the teens kidnapped on their way home from school hung over the crowd. Reminders, says Rabbi Thomas Lockheim, of a dark cloud hanging over the place they hold so dear. With the creation of the state of Israel, there's this hope that at least there's one place where um, Jews can be safe after 2,000 years of being afraid. A hope that might seem a little dimmer tonight as local rabbi Robert Einstein spoke to the group from Israel about feelings there. Shock, dismay, outrage, profound sadness. All of these were palpable. But here, it seems faith is not shaken. Just ask 19 year old Moshe Badalov. And I'm going to be in Israel myself in a few weeks. So, I don't know. I mean, it's just shocking to know that that easily could have been me. Very easily. Do you have any qualms about going after this? No, not at all. And these killings have already sparked violence between Israel and Hamas, the Palestinian-based terrorist group accused in these murders. And today, U.S. officials urged both sides to use restraint. Live in the newsroom, I'm Maggie Vespa. Kegan 9 on your side.